We're learning a, a Mimer Hasidic discourse that the Lubavitcher Rebbe said in 1959. And it's about uh, receiving the Torah. Tafshin Yud Tes. And it's explaining a, uh, um, a Gadata, a Midrash that was found in, that you can see in, in the Gomorrah, in the Talmud. In the Talmud, <clears throat> it says a very interesting thing. It says that Moses went up on Mount Sinai, right? He went up on Mount Sinai to receive the Torah. So he went up on Mount Sinai to receive the Torah, <clears throat> and the angels complained. Now, when he went up on Mount Sinai, he just didn't go up on the mountain. He went up very high, like in an airplane, you could go higher. He went up on Mount Sinai to be separated from all the rest of the people because the people couldn't receive the revelation of godliness. It was too much. The revelation of godliness, the revelation of the creator of the universe that was on Mount Sinai was the same revelation that was in the Holy of Holies. That's why in the Holy of Holies there were the tablets. And so it was too much. The people couldn't take it. God wanted everyone to receive all of the Torah. That's what he wanted. But they, they weren't able to, 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 to stand the goodness and the, uh, the awareness. It was too much for them. So God said, okay, Moshe, you go up alone. You come up alone. You come up alone and you get the Torah. This is all explained in, in Parshat Yitro in the book of Exodus. But it's also, there's a lot of things that aren't written there that are written in the Talmud. And one of them is that when Moshe went up to this level to be on Mount Sinai, is the angels complained. And the angels said, what's a human being doing up here? <clears throat> you should give your glory in heaven. Tanu hodecha ala shamayim. The Torah should be revealed up in heaven. And God said to Moshe, give him an answer. So Moshe said, you know what's written in the Torah? It's written, don't kill, don't steal. It's written, I am God that took you out of Egypt. You angels were ever in Egypt. You have urges to kill, urges to steal. You have any destructive impulses? No. So the angel said, okay, you know, you're know, you right. And they agreed with Moshe. What is the language over here? It says... Yes, and it says, Immediately, all of the angels loved Moshe. Okay, this whole thing doesn't make any sense. What does it mean the angels complained? What does it mean complained? What did they complain about? God told Moses to come up on Mount Sinai. He told him to come up to this tremendously spiritual level, to go into the Holy of Holies. So God told him, what are the angels complaining about? Not only that, what do the angels want? The angels said, give the Torah in heaven. What would they do with the Torah? What did they want it for? What was their purpose? What they wanted. And Moshe said back to them, you have any desire to kill, or to steal. <clears throat> and they, they, the angels sort of said, no, we don't have any desire to kill and steal. That's why we want the Torah over here. You know, you Jews are you're going to get the Torah. You're human beings. You get the Torah and you're going to do sins. Here, we're not going to do any sins. That's what they should have said. But what did the angels say? No, we get we get it now. I'm, we're sorry. And they all became admirers of Moshe. It, it says that there is Torah in the in the heaven. There's what's called the Miftifta the Rakia. There's the heavenly court. And there's stories in the Talmud even that the that uh, <clears throat> the the heavenly court said one thing and the the court here in the world said another thing and this world wins there's even another case where the where god himself set a law and uh, the, the 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 wise men in the world said lo bishamayami the torah is not in heaven the torah is you gave the torah in the world to be decided by human beings whatever we decide that's the law strange cases but they're all explained they're explained by different commentators that explained also in Hasidut. Okay, here we go. Okay, the main question over here 
<coughs> is uh, in addition to the really nice questions we asked the, about the angels and about Moshe being going up on Mount Sinai, but the main question is, what do we care? What difference does it make to us what the angels said? Let them say what they want. This is a story that happened 3,331 <coughs> years ago, as of this speech. 3,331 years ago. So there was a short argument, and the angels, they acceded to Moshe, and that's it. And, and, and they got told. So, you know, what are we learning about this? Maybe it's an intellectual... Uh, you know, it's interesting. Let, let's find the answer because it's an interesting thing. But the purpose of Hasidut is not just to give you a new angle at looking at the Torah, to show you a new facet of God's wisdom, but to make all these deepest ideas, the deepest ideas, practical. That's supposed to be the idea. It's supposed to be practical, and it's supposed to be practical to every single Jew, and through the Jews, it's supposed to be practical to every human being. So there's somehow or other a very important message over here, a very important, very essential message, that um, if we know this message, it'll make our lives a little more dynamic and meaningful and responsible. So let's see what the message is. <clears throat>